Hey everyone, how are we doing? My name is Tim Pongres and this is Focus on Detailing. Today's video will be dedicated to one machine that can assist in both sanitizing and deodorizing, as well as obviously cleaning, without the use of any chemicals. Having a steam cleaner is one very popular detailing tool to have, and I say it's popular or a common go-to as it makes interior detailing so much easier without the use of some harsh chemicals while still being an effective deep cleaning method. I'm actually going to be focusing on the Karcher SC2, but along with that I'll include steam cleaning as a whole. Now without further ado, let's get straight into it. So straight off the bat what you get with the SC2 is believe it or not what's listed on the box. I'm not one for unboxing videos so I'm just going to get straight into using it. I filled it with the required amount of water which was bang on one litre. It seems to be an adequate amount and would keep me going for a full interior detail. I got some power running through it and waited the required time which was six and a half minutes. People seem to have grief with the waiting time but if you're cleaning chances are you could find something else to clean while you wait so it's not a big issue. Not really here to talk about about general house cleaning with this steamer, more directing it towards interior cleaning of cars. But hey, it doesn't discriminate. It can be easily used for both with the attachments they supply you. From tight nook and crannies to open surfaces across fabric, leather, vinyl, plastic, glass and so on, the attachments that are supplied are great for all of them. No matter what work you do with a steam cleaner, it's so important to have a towel at the ready in your other hand to pick up the excess water. Now this brings about my first grievance about this steam cleaner. The SE2 is good, but it does, I suppose you could say, spit out a lot of excess water. Doesn't stop you from cleaning buttons and switches across the dash, but just be wary of where you point it and for how long you hold it there. When it comes to porous surfaces like leather, using steam helps to open up the pores, which then allows for a deeper clean, releasing more embedded grime. I used one of their broader attachments with the cloth cover to collect anything that was picked up. This is a perfect option before further leather treatment. Much like when you have a hot shower, cleaning your skin becomes easier, helping to remove oils and removing blackheads. I know that's a strange analogy, but you get the idea with leather cleaning as well. Using the power of steam is also a great option to clean headliners. They're a delicate thing. Too much water can lead to the degradation of the glue and make it sag, but using steam in a careful manner can help to safely remove marks and mess from across the roof space. I don't have any marks to use as an example, but if you were to use the steam cleaner, just make sure that you're moving it and not holding it in the one spot to avoid damage. Same goes for the fabric seats and carpeted floors to aid in removing stains. I did say in the intro it has the ability to sanitize, not disinfect. I've been over this in a previous video, so I won't delve into it too much here again. But any cleaning is beneficial to help reduce germs and the spread of them. Using a steam cleaner over hot spots of the car will further aid in reducing exposure to nasty germs. To disinfect with steam, it's been stated that you have to hold it over the surface for several minutes, which is obviously not safe and only end up damaging your interior. So we'll stick with sanitizing the best we can. The air it projects isn't overly bad, 3.2 bar to be exact. It has some decent force to help blow out dirt and mess from the tighter spots around the seats and seals. That hot air being belted out is also perfect for removing stuck on mess that you couldn't normally get off even with agitation and a strong cleaner. Like the build up you get around the seatbelt release button, the SC2 is considered an entry level and it fits the part perfectly. I think it's a great little machine and works really well to help aid in the cleaning of any vehicle or surfaces around your house as well. You'll find even after cleaning something thoroughly that using steam in addition can still remove more mess. Floorboards or tiles are a great way to find this out. It does have a brush attachment but that's pretty rough going in a car unless you are cleaning the pedals. Keep that for use in the house around the tiles and sinks. I know what many people are going to say. The two cars I've shown already were practically clean but this might be a better example about how to go about steam cleaning. I started how I always do and removed the bulk loose mess around everywhere. I then moved on to a thorough vacuum over all the surfaces. No good using the steam cleaner in the first stages, as it will only blow some of the loose dirt back into the places you might not be able to access with as much ease. Once I finished vacuuming, I used my air compressor with an attachment to blow the mess out from hidden and hard to reach spots into the open. I then vacuumed once again to dispose of everything I brought out. Now I could begin steam cleaning. 
A lot of the filth throughout the car that's left would benefit a lot more from steam than an APC alone. Obviously using both together would be the best possible way to go about it, but for this job I wanted to show just how good the power of steam can be. It was making short work of in and around the cup holders, door handles and buttons. These spots can be at times tricky to agitate and wipe dry. The SC2 also helped lift stains from the seats and vinyl surfaces without completely drenching the fabric. It's a cold day today and having the time for the seats to dry wasn't an option, which is why using steam was far superior. Steam cleaning isn't all that easy, it does come with some things to be wary of. Every car is different and you need to be careful where directing the steam. That vapour can build up and create unwanted moisture in areas you might not be able to dry and using it in surfaces that can't deal with the excessive heat, like thin plastic covers around the speedo cluster or LCD screens. It's all well and good to use steam to clean things, but just be sure it won't be causing any damage, as that's the last thing we want. So as long as you stay on the ball, detailing from top to bottom with a steam cleaner sure makes life easier, helping to remove stains, germs and grime. Now it cost me around $245, and I can say that I'm happy with it. I'm not overly impressed with the amount of water it produces along with the steam and only seems worse as it frequently needs to heat up again. But as long as you don't go pouring it down where it shouldn't be and you follow along with a towel, you'll hopefully be having no issues. It does a great job of cleaning as it should and helps to kill common bacteria and keeps things fresh and smelling better. Is there superior stuff out there? Obviously, but if you wanted to get started on a steam cleaner, I'd recommend this one for sure. Now on that positive note, I'm going to close up this video. I hope you enjoyed this upload and it helps you out with your car cleaning venture. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all later.